couple of bear right down here below me. It's about 1.30. It's down in the salmon berries. Looks decent. I can't, I didn't get a real good look at him yet. See if I can get set up without the wind getting down there to him. But see if I can get a little video of him. See if he's a shooter. Alright, I got this bear down here. I haven't got a real good look at it yet, but considering uh, considering the salmon berries and stuff that he's in and how well I can see him, I think it's a pretty good sized bear. But he's just down in that real thick stuff, so it might just be a waiting game. I'm just going to try to be patient. Hopefully the wind doesn't give up my location. It's 2.30, so the wind should stay hopefully coming up. But uh, yeah, I'll just hang tight here and see what happens. That's a, that's a big bear. Boom. I didn't, I can't believe he walked right out in the open like that. I spotted him down in the salmon berries and I've been here waiting forever thinking he's gonna pop out. Pops out right in the wide open. That's a stud. Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm so stoked. Oh, oh man, I gotta call my wife. Well, I made it down here. Whew, it's a, uh, it's warm. Man, what a beautiful bear. Awesome night. Hunting's something that I've always done, but it's just something that I've been way more passionate about the last 10 years and something that I'm super thankful and grateful that I get to do with my family and, and uh, grateful that, you know, my dad took me out when I was younger and and introduced me and, and taught me so much and and there's still so much there's to learn gosh you guys always something to learn but but this bear's gonna it's gonna provide some good meat i have come to really enjoy bear meat so um let me get this thing cut up and make my way on up out of here start climbing out of this hole Oh,